The pair of legs that carried him were rickety, and there was a bias in his gait which inclined him somewhat to the left of a straight line. The rickety little wagon was already laden, and the girl led out the horse, Prince, only a degree less rickety than the vehicle. Rickety. Rickety. Say it. Rickety is of a structure or piece of equipment poorly made and likely to collapse. Tess Durberfield then, in good heart and full of zest for life, descended the Egdon slopes lower and lower towards the dairy of her pilgrimage. She remained with her comrades till dusk and participated with a certain zest in the dancing. Zest. Zest. Say it. Zest is great enthusiasm and energy. Tess did not expostulate. She knew what her mother's objection meant. Her mother expostulated, You will never set out to see your folks without dressing up more than more the dan than that. Expostulate. Expostulate. Say it. Expostulate means to express strong disapproval or disagreement. He looked about at the benches, at the table supported by trestles, at his basket of tools. Vessels holding the separate ingredients stood on a white clothed table of boards and trestles close by. Trestles. Trestles. Say it. Trestles is a framework consisting of a horizontal beam supported by two pairs of sloping legs used in pairs to support a flat surface such as a tabletop. Elizabeth and her mother were passively accepted as sojourners and shown to a small bedroom under one of the gables where they sat down. Newson, like a good many rovers and sojourners amongst strange men and strange moralities, failed to perceive the enormity of Henchard's crime. Sojourner. Sojourner. Say it. Sojourner is a person staying somewhere temporarily. While thus furtively making her survey, the opening words of a song greeted her ears from the front of the settle in a melody and accent of peculiar charm. Melancholy, impressive, lonely, yet accessible from every part of the town, the historic circle was the frequent spot for appointments of a furtive kind. Furtively. Say it, furtively. Furtively is, in a way that attempts to avoid notice or attention, secretively. Time to consolidate. What E is a synonym for disagree and protest? Write it down. Expostulate. What Z is a synonym for enthusiasm and gusto? Write it down. Zest. What F is a synonym for secretly and slyly? Write it down. Furtively. The distant rims of the world and of the firmament seem to be a division in time no less than a division in matter. She resolutely turned her face to the confronting pile of firmamental darkness beyond the palings and stepped into its mist. Firmament. Firmament. Say it. Firmament is the heavens or sky. Car- On the fine days at this time of the year, and earlier certain ephemeral operations were apt to disturb, in their trifling way, the majestic calm of Egdon Heath. As is usual with bright natures, the deity that lies ignominiously chained within an ephemeral human carcass shone out of him like a ray. Ephemeral. Ephemeral. Say it. Ephemeral is lasting for a very short time. 
Upon the door was a neglected brass plate bearing the unexpected inscription, Mr. Wildeve Engineer, a useless yet cherished relic from the time when he had been started in that profession in an office at Budmouth by those who had hoped much from him and had been disappointed. Yet they had all lived and died unconscious of the different fates awaiting their relics. Relic. Relic. Say it. Relic is an object surviving from an earlier time, especially one of historical interest. Time to consolidate. Can you match the words to their correct definitions? Say each word and their definition out loud after pressing pause now. Now check your answers. Press pause now. Well, of course, but now she's older. She's of a thoughtful, quivering, tender nature and as sensitive as... Presently, Troutum grew tired of his punitive task and, depositing the quivering boy on his legs, took a sixpence from his pocket and gave it to him in payment for his day's work. Quivering. Quivering. Say it. Quivering is trembling or shaking with a slight, rapid motion. The hampered and lonely itinerant conscientiously covered up the marginal readings and used them merely on points of construction. Vilbert was an itinerant quack doctor, well known to the rustic population and absolutely unknown to anybody else, as he indeed took care to be to avoid inconvenient investigations. Itinerant. Itinerant, say it. Itinerant is travelling from place to place. A warm self-content suffused him when he considered what he had already done. Suffused. Suffused. Say it. Suffused is gradually spread through or over. Time to consolidate. What I means travelling from place to place. Write it down now. Itinerant. What are is an object surviving from an earlier time, especially one of historical interest. Write it down now. Relic. What T is a framework consisting of a horizontal beam supported by two pairs of sloping legs used in pairs to support a flat surface such as a tabletop? Write it down now. Trestles. And finally, what E means to express strong disapproval or disagreement? Write it down now. Expostulate. When Farmer Oak smiled, the corners of his mouth spread till they were within an unimportant distance of his ears. His eyes were reduced to chinks and diverging wrinkles appeared around them, extending upon his countenance like the rays in a rudimentary sketch of the rising sun. As soon as he got beyond the gate and there was the barest excuse for a divergence, he made one and vanished. Diverging. Diverging. Say it. Diverging is of paths or lines going in different directions, separating. The sluggish day began to break. His manner was stunned and sluggish now. Sluggish. Sluggish. Say it. Sluggish is slow moving or inactive. His incipient friendship with her aunts had been nipped by the failure of his suits, and all that Oak learnt of Bathsheba's movements was done indirectly. But Boldwood grew hot down to his hands with an incipient jealousy. Incipient. Incipient. Say it. Incipient is beginning to happen or develop. Time to consolidate. 
Can you write down the missing word which relates to the paths or lines going in different directions, separating? Diverging. Another missing word for you to write down, this time meaning gradually spread through or over. Suffused. Here's another word for you to work out from the 19th century context, meaning beginning to happen or develop, write it down. Incipient. Finally, another missing word for you to write down, this time meaning lasting for a very short time. Ephemeral. She, without positively encouraging him, tacitly assented to his schemes for being near her. She tacitly acquiesced. Tacitly. Tacitly. Say it. Tacitly is in a way that is understood or implied without being directly stated. He took her hand as before and found it as cold as the water about them. It was not relinquished till he reached her door. Not a soul remained in his parlour beside himself, and he began picking up the pipes and glasses his customers had hastily relinquished. 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 Say it. Relinquished is voluntarily ceased to keep or claim given up. Homely friendship entered into his love for her, without which all love was evanescent. But these evanescent thoughts vanished as they had come, and Mrs Cricket set to work. Evanescent. Evanescent. Say it. Evanescent is soon passing out of sight, memory or existence, quickly fading or disappearing. Time to consolidate all the words now. Define evanescence out loud. Evanescent is soon passing out of sight, memory or existence, quickly fading or disappearing. Define relinquished out loud. Relinquished is voluntarily ceased to keep or claim given up. Define tacitly out loud. Tacitly is in a way that is understood or implied without being directly stated. Define incipient out loud. Incipient is beginning to happen or develop. Define sluggish out loud. Sluggish is slow moving or inactive. Now define diverging out loud. Diverging is of paths or lines going in different directions, separating. Define suffused out loud. Suffused is gradually spread through or over. Define itinerant out loud. Itinerant is travelling from place to place. Define quivering out loud. Quivering is trembling or shaking with a slight rapid motion. Define relic out loud. Relic is an object surviving from an earlier time, especially one of historical interest. Define ephemeral out loud.
ephemeral is lasting for a very short time. Define firmament out loud. Firmament is the heavens or sky. Define furtively out loud. Furtively is in a way that attempts to avoid notice or attention secretively. Define sojourner out loud. Sojourner is a person staying somewhere temporarily. Define trestles out loud. Trestles is a framework consisting of a horizontal beam supported by two pairs of sloping legs used in pairs to support a flat surface such as a tabletop. Now to find expostulate out loud. Expostulate is to express strong disapproval or disagreement. Define zest out loud. Zest is great energy and enthusiasm. Define rickety out loud. Rickety is of a structure or piece of equipment poorly made and likely to collapse. Here's a list of all the words that have been covered within this video. Evanescent, relinquished, tacitly, incipient, sluggish, diverging, suffused, itinerant, quivering, relic, ephemeral, firmament, furtively, sojourner, trestles, expostulate, zest, rickety. This has been a Schofield on Shakespeare production aiming at boosting your vocabulary using um, sentences and words taken from the great works of Thomas Hardy and the aim has been to ensure that when it comes to doing a GCSE paper which which includes an unseen 19th century text you have a better understanding of the precise meanings of words. Many thanks for watching.